20th of April 2024, Ryan Garcia made an impossible thing. He defeated and undefeated Darren Haney, a smart boxer who even wasn't close to the loss. He was dropped several times in that fight. But right after that, this fight was overturned as no contest. Empty, drank it all myself. From the fastest hands in the world, to the fraud suspended from the sport, Ryan Garcia, the man who lost everything. That is not the secret that a lot of professional athletes are losing everything after passing their prime. Because of improper lifestyle, the great example is Tommy Morrison, the brightest star who ruined all his life and died because of binges, or the legendary Mike Tyson who suddenly lost everything after he became an undisputed champion. He even couldn't pass a walkthrough fight with Kevin McBride. Well, I would like to continue, but I saw that I was getting beat on. I realized I don't think I have it anymore because I'm... Conor McGregor, who showed a terrible performance against Habib, could not return back. The fighter can be young, but that is not the sign of his long career. In 2023, Ryan Garcia faced the most dangerous rival, Javante Davis, a stylistic nightmare for the lightweight. This man is a pure copy of Floyd Mayweather, but he is much more aggressive. This fighter was promoted well by him. He was a champion in the featherweight and in the lightweight. He is an undefeated and had a record of 28 wins and no losses. Ryan Garcia started the training camp. He started to boxing when he was 7 years old. When he was an amateur fighter, he already faced Damien Haney six times. Three wins and three losses. But in 2016, Ryan Garcia started a professional career. But the real interest came to Ryan when he started to publish his Fast Hands videos. Of course, he was signed to the huge promotion, Golden Boy, as his friend and teammate Canelo Alvarez. Of course, he quickly got the opportunity to fight for the WBC Silver Lightweight title and an interim one with Luke Campbell. He faced David Haney right in the ring after the fight, a WBC Lightweight regular champion. The curious thing was that Ryan Garcia was dropped for the first time in that fight. His fast hands didn't work for the first time. That was the question. What would happen in the fight with a real serious tough guy? Juwante Davis. Juwante Davis is coming from the poor family, from dangerous neighborhoods in Baltimore. That's why he started to boxing to survive. An angry young man who quickly became Floyd Mayweather's main fighter. The guy who even was in the co-main event of the second largest event of the sport, Mayweather vs. McCracker. Duante Davis uses a very defensive fighting style, as Mayweather but he has much better percentage of knockouts. Ryan Garcia vs. Juante Davis was the most biggest fight in 2023, where Ryan Garcia was really helpless. We go backstage with Ryan Garcia, who says Tank Davis's past opponents got into the ring without the belief they could actually beat him. But King Ryan does believe it. Right from the first round, Ryan showed everything what he could. He dangerously strike Davis, but he couldn't reach Javante's head. It was obvious that Javante sees everything and he was able to dodge and even save himself in the clinch. In the second round, Juwante Davis dropped Ryan Garcia, and that was a breakdown moment, where everybody was surprised. Here, Ryan Garcia started to be careful, and Juwante Davis started his game. During all rounds, Ryan Garcia could do nothing, and Juwante Davis took all rounds. The problem is that Ryan Garcia is a fast-handed boxer, but already during the pad works, we can see that he's a typical regular boxer. During the counter punches, Juwante Davis is much faster. Here, when Ryan Garcia tried to attack Juwante, when he clinched him down, he suddenly was neat. On the replay, we could see that Ryan Garcia missed a perfect shot which not look strong, 
but it was enough for a delayed knockout. That's how Rangasi was defeated in that fight. Oh, but he's slow though. He's slow. Look at the distance. Right after that fight, Ryan Garcia fired his coach Joe Goosen. He started to work with him after he quit Eddie Reynosa. He fired Goosen right in the dressing room and started to work with Derek James. And decided to move up to the super lightweight. Damon Haney became an undisputed champion in the fight with George Kambosos and defeated Vasily Lomachenko and also decided to move up where he defeated Regis Bro Ray. A lot of people are thinking that Damon Haney lost the fight with Lomachenko, but if we will have a look precisely, when Lomachenko tried to attack Haney, he usually missed. And Haney took all rounds by his careful work by jabbing Lomachenko, that is even obvious in slow motion. Exactly the same thing as in the fight Juante Davis vs Ryan Garcia. Because at the end of the year, Ryan Garcia appeared in the ring for the fight with Oscar Duarte. And here Ryan was catastrophically slow, no more combinations. The face looks different as well, like he completely stopped training. The same as Conor McGregor had in the fight with Khabib, but he knocked out Oscar. That's how they started to make a new fight. You're not my friend, remember that. You're not my friend. Your dad's a pimp and he pimping you. Ryan Garcia started to show that he's not training, when Damon Haney showed everywhere that he's in a hard training camp. During the preparations, Ryan divorced. All media attacked him, and he even missed the weight for three pounds. Means that this fight is not a title bout for Garcia, only for Haney. And everybody thought that his fight would be a one-sided beating. Damon Haney walked out confidently. Garcia looked much worse as everybody thought, but that was a part of her mental game. Haney told that everything what Ryan has is his left hook, and that was the first punch which Haney missed right in the first round. Here Ryan Garcia was fast again, and Haney looked helpless. His smart tactic didn't work, and already in his corner after the first round Haney was completely lost. He was very surprised why his fighting style didn't work, because in every single round he was cornered. Even when in the third round he made a successful attack, Ryan Garcia was only laughing. For the first time, Damon Haney was dropped at the seventh round, and again at the same round. He was dropped here three times, the same in the tenth round, and the same in the eleventh. At the twelfth round, he started teasing Damien. He was completely lost, because for the first time his smart boxing didn't work. He was frustrated, and that's how this fight was ended. A lot of people are thinking how he could miss the weight, because this fighter is a professional, and all these alcohol games were just only part of mental game. Usually the fighters can't make the weight because their body is so stressed and not losing some water. That's why the boxers are usually changing the weight class. Ryan Garcia could be a new WBC champion and return back his crown, but something weird happened after that fight. Voluntary Anti-Doping Association notified all involved parties that Garcia had tested positive for rosterine, the drug, which is used for not losing the muscles of the athlete, banned by Anti-Doping Agency. The Pro B confirmed the test. This fight was overturned as no contest, and Ryan Garcia received a year suspension. You, were, you announced that you're retiring. Are you actually retiring or? I'm retiring for a year. Okay. So they don't get a satisfaction, whatever. Satisfaction. There you go. For, uh, for suspending me because it's bull. I never took steroids in my life. You can all suck cleaners. He started to write and act that this sport is full of corruption and he's not going to compete again. He started to talk about who wants to fight in UFC. He wants a title shot against now former champion Sean O'Malley, but later he started to write some racist things in acts. That was the decision to ban him from WBC for life, and also from this issue, 
we found out about Ryan Garcia's mental health problems. That is not a rare thing that a lot of boxers are losing their minds after reaching their primes in the boxing. We already saw the same thing with Juwante Davis, who was arrested a month before the fight with Hector Garcia. He was drunk at the face-offs, but now he successfully continues his career. His last fight was in 2024, where he defeated his former sparring partner, Frank Martin. Now, Ryan Garcia announces his fight with Manny Pacquiao, a legend who is already 45 years old. Floyd Mayweather is also competing as an exhibition fighter, but he's not interesting for the huge crowd. And there is still no confirmation about the official date for their exhibition fight in Japan under Ryzen. Adrian Brauner, who was also a large hope of the boxing, had an impressive boxing record, but because of improper life, he quit in 2021. But suddenly he signed with notorious Dawn King, who has no so huge influence in the boxing world. And in 2024, Adrian lost the fight again to Brian Cops by unanimous decision. What is next for Ryan Garcia is the big question.